Good afternoon. The Secretary General will brief you on uh, the second day of the Foreign Ministerial meeting here in Bucharest, and then we'll have time for just a few questions. Secretary General. Good afternoon. We have just concluded the important uh, meetings of NATO foreign ministers. Last night uh, with uh, Foreign Minister uh, Dmitry Koleba, we addressed Russia's illegal war uh, in Ukraine, the country's uh, most urgent needs, and our long-term uh, support. Ukraine has uh, made significant gains, but we must uh, not underestimate Russia. Russian missiles and drones continue to strike Ukrainian cities, civilians, um, and critical infrastructure. This is causing enormous human suffering as winter sets in. NATO foreign ministers made clear that our continued military support for Ukraine is essential, in particular additional air defenses. Allies uh, also announced uh, additional contributions to NATO's comprehensive assistance package, providing Ukraine with non-lethal aid, including fuel and generators. This morning, Allies addressed the long-term challenges posed by China to our interests, values, and security, and how we must continue to strengthen our resilience. NATO is an alliance of Europe and North America but the challenges we face are global, and we must address them together in NATO. We do not see China as an adversary. We will continue to engage with China when it is in our interests, not least to convey our united position on Russia's illegal war in Ukraine. So we remain clear-eyed. Today, ministers considered China's ambitious military developments its technological uh, advances, and its growing cyber and hybrid activities. The war in Ukraine has demonstrated our dangerous dependency on Russian gas. This should also lead us to assess our dependencies on other authoritarian regimes, not least China, for our supply chains, technology, or infrastructure. We will continue, of course, to trade and engage economically with China. But we have to be aware of our dependencies, reduce our vulnerabilities, and manage the risks. Foreign ministers stressed the importance of meeting uh, NATO, uh, NATO's resilience uh, guidelines and maintaining our technological edge. We must also continue to strengthen our cooperation with partners in the Indo-Pacific region, as well as with the European Union. Ministers also discussed terrorism, the most direct asymmetric threat to our security. We saw uh, that most recently, we saw that most recently with the horrific uh, attack in Istanbul. Ministers agreed that we must continue our efforts to, con uh, to counter this threat. For our final session, uh, the foreign ministers of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Georgia and Moldova joined us. Three valued NATO partners which face Russian pressure. We discussed our shared security uh, concerns and ways to strengthen our cooperation, and allies agreed uh, to step up our tailored support, including on capacity building, reforms, and training to improve their security and defense institutions. In all our discussions uh, yesterday and today, we were joined by Finland and Sweden. The ratification process for their NATO membership is now nearly complete. Their accession will make them safer, our alliance stronger, and the Euro-Atlantic area more secure. It is time to welcome them as full-fledged members of the alliance. I want to close by thanking Romania for the excellent hosting of this meeting of NATO foreign ministers. This shows once again Romania's strong commitment to our alliance. And with that, I'm ready to take your questions.